Good morning, and let's see. <clears throat> so I want to talk about disappearing, you know, wanting to disappear, wanting to check out, wanting to avoid, wanting to not be present, not, you know, not wanting to confront things, um, you know, having a sense that like things should be different. And uh, it, it, pain is such a difficult topic. And I vacillated between calling this on pain or on disappearing, but I thought I really wanted to explore the, the idea of not just the pain itself, but wanting the pain to go away or wanting to go away, you know, you to, to disappear into the ether so that you would not have to experience the pain, right? And why is that? It's like, and I see this a lot with people who are struggling or in pain. It's like this, this deepening struggle as they fight it and resist it because I, what I believe is the ego is saying, well, this is, this is not your fault, but it's your fault or it's all your fault or no, it's not your fault at all. It's somebody else's fault and they're the problem and they're the trouble. And so if you try and change them or blame them that you will be free of the pain. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the pain ain't going in anywhere because when I try to deal with, um, with pain, with my ego, by fighting it or resisting it or trying to uh, make the pain go away or do things to make myself disappear from the experience of the pain, uh, it just it just only gets worse. It's like it's like I'm feeding a beast that's hibernating, and then what happens is is within one to two months' time, the seasons change, and I have a bigger beast who's been you know, finding their own food and getting larger and more ominous. And so, you know, when, when, when the, the truth is, is that when I'm experiencing pain, when I'm dealing with other people, other clients and other people that I know that are experiencing pain, it's a tremendously interesting experience to me because I know a lot of people that are incredibly smart and really have their shit together. And so when they're experiencing pain, you know, they do things like, Oh God, you know, I'm so anxious. This is so difficult, but I'm fine, but I'm fine. You know, it's like, everything's kind of hard right now. And I'm really struggling with A, B, C, X, Y, Z, but I'm going to be all right. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think positive self-talk is a part of the solution. And, but the, here's the trick. Positive self-talk isn't going to make the pain go away. You know, pain is like, it's a natural emotion and whatever goes with that pain, grief, anger, depression, sadness, you know, solace, uh, solitude, uh, any other kinds of like, you know, deeply steep, dark emotions. Those are part of the natural cycles of life and human emotion. And then, and for me, it's kind of like, I'm not going to do anything to make it go away. I'm not going to go do anything to make myself disappear from the experience. What I can do is, yes, insert these little elements of positive self-talk, you know, make sure I'm doing meditation, make sure I'm, you know, not spending time, too much time thinking about stuff, that I'm still going out and helping people and living my life and doing my purpose, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because that pain has a cycle and it has a cycle that I can't control. And it's going to go through what it's going to go through, but just because I'm, you know, riding the roller coaster, uh, you know, as we all know, roller coaster kind of goes up, 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 and then it free falls. And that's the ride, man. Like we're on a ride. I'm on a ride. You're on a ride. It's called the human experience. And if you want to disappear from the more dark and negative or painful experiences of that ride, you're also going to miss out on a lot of the joy. You're also going to miss out on the parts of the, the ride that are super thrilling because Again, you know, it's like a bouncy ball. Sometimes in life, like the harder you hit the bottom, the more you bounce up. And that's at least been my experience and, and the experience of other people that I work with. It's like, oh no, you know, if you embrace the pain and understand that this is like nature and the divine helping you to uncover, discover, discard, or like, you know, uh, cathartically release toxic experiences, negative emotions, you know, things that have happened to you that you think, you know, you've worked through, but maybe it's not a one and done type of deal. It'll keep coming back and it'll keep asking you to address it. It'll keep asking you to be present. It'll keep asking you to adjust and look at it again and feel the experience more deeply. That's life. It's like life is asking you all the time to feel your experiences more deeply, not to run, not to try to disappear, not to try to make it go away. And listen, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I like pain, isn't it great? I do believe pain is the touchstone to progress. And I do believe that that which does not kill me makes me stronger. And I'm always going to believe that because that has been my experience. And I've been through some pretty painful stuff. But 
Listen, if you're stuck and in pain or feeling darkness or negativity and don't know how to get out of it, and you're struggling with like a difficult uh, decision, uh, and all it's doing is, uh, what it, what's what I'm looking for, is as you're trying to find answers, you're just feeling more and more stuck, then you probably need some help. And so I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you find answers, figure out what's going on, you know, look a little bit more deeply, do some work. That's what my coaching is all about, is helping people who think too much, trying to find answers to things that are deeply natural and spiritual, but you just don't know it. You know, life is not a spiritual exercise. It's a mental, emotional, physical, and um, excuse me, I take that back. Life is not an, a mental exercise. It's mental, yes, but it's also emotional physical and spiritual and we need to get to the bottom of some of these things that are keeping you stuck so get in touch message me or email me at nicole at nicole thanks for showing up and not disappearing today